This is the Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion. It is the most powerful heavy lift helicopter ever built for the United States military. But before it can dominate the skies, it begins as a vision of titanium and carbon fiber inside this high-tech facility. The process starts with raw materials. Specialized machines cut metal sheets with extreme precision, guided by advanced computer models. Every component must be perfect. Technicians inspect gears down to the microscopic level, ensuring there are absolutely no flaws. To withstand immense forces, metal billets are heated until they glow orange, then forged into super strong structural parts. After cooling and treatment, these heavy blocks are refined. Protective layers are removed to reveal the gleaming steel underneath. Automated milling machines carve complex teeth into the gears. Liquid coolant keeps the metal from overheating during this intense friction. Here, the main rotor hub takes shape. This single piece of metal is sculpted by multi-axis machines to hold the massive blades. Once machined, the hub undergoes a final dimension check. Engineers verify that it meets the strict standards required for flight. Components are washed to remove debris. Then, specific areas are heated to expand the metal, allowing bearings to fit perfectly inside. This is the main gearbox assembly. Heavy cranes lower the gear clusters into the housing, creating the transmission that drives the rotors. Robotic arms assist in the assembly, ensuring consistent torque. The upper casing is lowered, sealing the complex mechanics inside. Even the exterior housings are machined and polished by hand. Every surface is smoothed to reduce stress and improve durability. Before installation, the gearbox is rigged with sensors and wiring. Technicians connect these systems to monitor performance during testing. Lubrication is critical. We see oil flowing through transparent test pipes, confirming that the internal gears will run smoothly. With the testing complete, protective caps are installed. The massive transmission is now ready to join the rest of the aircraft. Meanwhile, the airframe comes together. Robotic welders join the aluminum structure, creating a lightweight yet rigid skeleton. Automated riveting machines attach the metal skin to the frame. This ensures the fuselage is strong enough to carry heavy military payloads. For lighter parts, workers use carbon fiber. These sheets are layered by hand and then baked in a large oven to harden into a solid shape. The main cabin sections are joined together. Yellow robots drill thousands of precise holes for the fasteners that will hold the body together. Technicians apply sealant to make the joints airtight. Then, the side sponsons, which house fuel and landing gear, are moved into position. Robots hold heavy panels steady while workers secure them. The sturdy landing gear mechanism is also installed at this stage. Flexible fuel bladders are carefully inserted into the fuselage. Outside, workers use torque wrenches to secure the heavy attachment points. The engine mounts are prepared. Overhead, the three powerful GE turboshaft engines hang ready for installation. A robotic arm gently guides the engine into its nacelle. This precision ensures the engine aligns perfectly with the transmission. This process is repeated for all three engines. These power plants provide the immense thrust needed for heavy lifting. Now, the main gearbox is lowered onto the fuselage. This critical component connects the engines to the main rotor system. The rear ramp and tail section are attached. This wide opening allows troops and vehicles to drive directly into the helicopter. Workers install the drive shaft that powers the tail rotor. The metal surfaces are polished to prevent friction and wear. Inside, the cargo floor is cleaned and prepped. Rails and rollers are installed to help slide heavy pallets in and out. Protective mats are laid down. Meanwhile, in the clean room, more carbon fiber parts are being shaped for the interior panels. Robots sand the composite parts to a smooth finish. On the exterior, sealant is applied around the engine cowlings. The aerodynamic covers are fitted over the engines. At the front, the nose cone is secured, housing critical radar equipment. Technicians slide in the avionics bays. These metal boxes contain the computers that control navigation and communication. The tail rotor hive is secured. 
large wrenches are used to lock the assembly in place, ensuring it holds tight during flight. The nearly finished aircraft is lifted by a crane. Engineers check the digital scale to verify the helicopter's weight and balance. In the paint booth, a robotic sprayer applies a protective coating. This ensures the skin resists corrosion in harsh environments. The main rotor blades are built layer by layer. Lasers guide the placement of carbon fiber sheets to ensure maximum strength. The blades are cured in a massive pressure cooker called an autoclave. Afterward, the edges are ground to the perfect aerodynamic shape. Non-destructive testing scans the inside of the blade. The green screen confirms the structure is 100% flawless. The curved blade tips are applied by hand. This unique shape improves performance and reduces noise. Back on the assembly line, the cockpit windshield is installed. This glass must be tough enough to withstand bird strikes and debris. Thousands of wires are routed through the airframe. Inside the cockpit, the digital flight displays are snapped into the dashboard. Robots assist in loading heavy computer racks. The pilot's foot pedals and control sticks are also bolted into position. Electricians connect the final breaker panels. A pilot sits in the seat to test the feel of the flight controls. Thick insulation blankets are installed in the cabin. This protects the crew from the deafening noise of the engines. Using a multimeter, technicians verify every circuit. All electrical systems must be green before the engines can start. Advanced sensors and cameras are mounted on the nose. These give the pilot's vision even in the darkest conditions. It is time to attach the lifting surfaces. The massive composite blades are secured to the main rotor hub. Before flight, the engines are run in a test cell. Engineers monitor the data to ensure they are producing full power. The tail rotor blades are installed next. These counteract the torque of the main rotor and steer the helicopter. Hydraulic pistons are connected to the rotor head. These powerful rams change the pitch of the blades to control flight. The nose cone is swung shut and locked. The exterior assembly is now complete. Finally, the helicopter enters the paint booth. Robots apply a camouflage pattern to help it blend into combat environments. The finished helicopter undergoes a vibration test. Sensors track the rotor balance to ensure a smooth flight. Inside the cockpit, the digital displays show all systems are normal. The engines are ready for the first real challenge. The King Stallion is towed out of the hangar. It has transformed from raw metal into a fully capable war machine. On the tarmac, the rotors spin up to speed. The pilot performs a final check and gives the signal for takeoff. The massive aircraft lifts effortlessly into the air. The Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion is now ready to serve. A marvel of modern manufacturing, built to carry the heaviest loads in the world.